Welcome to the City Current Radio Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference in our community. We're honored to kick it off with Robin Bash. She is the CEO of Maple Ridge Events. How are you doing, Robin? Well, Jeremy, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. So your world, obviously, a lot has been uh, taking place in terms of pivots and adjustments. We'll talk about that in the event space, but give us a little background in terms of normally, when you talk about uh, all the work you do with Maple Ridge Events, give us some background. All right, absolutely. So Maple Ridge Events, we've been in business almost nine years. Uh, we are a, a, were a live events uh, destination management company experts of our destination, which is Nashville, Tennessee. And we did everything for our clients, transportation, off-property events, theme parties, team building, all of those things live. Um, and we have had to now move our lives, uh, our clients, our meetings, and everything that we do to the virtual environment, digital. And so on your end, you know, and hopefully things will normalize. So obviously all of this uh, will come around and, and you'll be back in business full swing soon, hopefully. But talk about on your end, um, you know, everything from gamification, live streaming. When you talk about doing events, it's so much more than actual the events. It's, it's an experience. And so talk about when you're looking at creating an experience, what all goes into that? Well, that's a very good question. And I will say, I don't know that it's going to come back as, as soon as you, you're saying, but I love your optimism. It'd be yeah, really hopeful. nice to think that next month we'll be doing live events, but I, I don't foresee that happening. Um, but I do think that that's very important. I think we all have attended some hellacious, that it is, is, that, is that a good word to use? Some really not great virtual events um, over the last four months. And part of that has just been, we've all been learning, right? We've been thrown like this curve of, we knew virtual was out there and digital was out there. Mainly how you would normally experience it would be like you just said, like live streaming or somebody comes, you know, your general session goes out to people that are watching on the computer somewhere else. And you're really just live streaming. It hasn't really been recreating that live in person experience in the virtual world. And that's the most important part that we really need to be doing now because like Zoom fatigue is real. And sitting in front of a computer and just being spoken at is just not gonna be effective. And translating a live event to the virtual world doesn't work the same way. You don't take a three-day conference and and move it to the virtual world and expect that your attendees are gonna be able to do the same thing sitting in front of a computer. You're gonna to wanna to reimagine that, you're gonna to wanna to do it different, you're gonna want your time frames to be much less, you're gonna want your content to be much more focused in and, um, and re reduced in size for sure. Um, you're gonna to wanna to throw in a lot of the same things that you had at your live event. You're gonna want, um, moments for people to, to garner some energy. That might be, you know, um, um, yoga in the morning, just like you would if you went to a conference, you're gonna still wanna do that as an optional activity before, before their, you know, now day and a half um, virtual meeting. You're gonna wanna have some entertainment in there. You're gonna want people to have something that they can feel. I mean, it's emotions, right? Creating memories is really, whenever you think about a great conference that you attended, there was something around it, whether that was an amazing performer that you saw, whether it was a great gift that you received, whether it was a connection with somebody, a one-on-one -on -one connection, and that changed the scope of your business forever because you met like just that one great piece. You need to have all of those things Recreate it, recreating them in the virtual world. And that is, we're all learning how to do that, but it's, it's essential that you look at it as, oh, shift and shared experiences. You know, you got things when you went to a conference, you touched things, there were tangible things there. Um, ha sending people things ahead of time, something gets them excited about your conference or gives them something that they all can open together. That might, it might be, it might be a gift. It might be a shared beverage. Um, it might be um, a, a food item. It might be a sponsor swag. Um, all of those things are all part of the experience that is much, much bigger than a Zoom meeting 
that doesn't have a lot of interaction. You need interaction. Carry that you need to break it up. shared. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, I, we're seeing a lot of creativity, especially around the nonprofit side with fundraisers and going virtual and doing things like virtual wine dinners, where to your point, you pick it up and there's uh, four courses and you have everything in front of you that's packaged and you're kind of walking alongside with them as they're going through. And so there's a physical engagement as much as the online engagement. Give me maybe one thing that you've seen either yourself or from somebody else that's been really creative in that regard. Well, I mean, I do think the sharing of an experience is, you know, where memories are created. Um, so I've seen, um, okay, this is a very cool thing. Uh, the uh, Webex South, which is Women Business Enterprise Council, uh, did this for, for, they sent out, they had a live artist that their conference was for a whole day. So they had a live artist that was painting um, they were doing a product launch, right? So the whole painting was about this new tech website that they were uh, about to throw out to everybody. So she had the logo, she had the idea of it, she had the color scheme, and she create, started creating this painting that we would periodically throughout the day go in and see the progress that she was making on this painting. And at the end of the day at the reception revealed the, the end result. Well, they she did like a pre-painting ahead of time, which then they screen printed on items and sent them to the attendees prior to the conference. So you have this whole theme and this whole buildup, but it's all about, you know, the ultimate goal, which is to get everybody to know about Meet Her in the Marketplace, which was the product that they were, that, you know, the launch of Meet Her in the Marketplace. And everything was about that. So I, I think that's very innovative. It, it takes something that you would experience in the live world, which, you know, a lot of your things that, that would be there would be what the conference, you know, theme or messaging was about. And they they translated it to the virtual world with something tangible. Look, oh, actually, I still have the water bottle, right? <laughs> That's the logo for me here in the marketplace. So I'm, well, and my coaster. Yeah. I didn't even mean to do that, everybody. That was just, but, but you know what I mean? Like that, and I love, I, lo I, I love that, but that all got sent to me ahead of time. So I, I already was starting with the, what is this about? And, and you have me intrigued. So, well, throughout the day, we got like to figure it out together. Creating the memories. And so then you actually have something right there that relates to that memory and that brings that memory. And so it's not just the event itself, like you said, in the content, it's actually what do you do to create an experience that ultimately creates a memory? Well, yeah, because isn't that what creates brand loyalty? Isn't that what, you know, makes you want to keep going back to that if you would go to that conference every year? I mean, it's that kind of thing. And I, and I believe that, you know, done right, virtual events will create that same thing. Oh, I have to go see them. I mean, the one piece that we need to get a little bit better at is trying uh, to, and Jeremy, you and I were talking about this in the very beginning, is really understanding how to create a monetize, monetize everything, uh, um, bringing sponsorship a little bit more to the forefront. That's really big and we need to know how to do that. Um, but we need to know how to um, uh, just make it, it, I mean, it, it has to have that, that uh, networking opportunity where people are meeting one-on-one -on -one and they're creating a mean, meaningful connection. You yeah. know, we, we have to get better at that. We are start. We, there are some things it's innovation is amazing when you, when you need, but there are some things out there that are starting to create that. So I'm excited because that, that was a missing piece is the uh, being able to um, meet one-on-one -on -one the same way that you do face-to-face. Uh, -face. Yeah, because I think, you know, with most events, people do walk out with the, what was in it for me? What's the ROI of my time? And what did I learn? Who did I meet? And with that, relationship building and networking really is a critical piece of most events, especially in the business world. And so to your point, while the content is something that is easier to push out through the online experience, it's harder to create the networking, the relationship building. And that's that part where now innovation is stepping in with new programs and apps and things like that. But that's the next phase of everything we're dealing with is how do we create those relationships online 
to your point before we were talking off mic, there is an intimacy that you can leverage. And so that's a powerful piece of this, the flexibility and the convenience of it. So there are some advantages. It's just a matter of then how do you connect those dots? Absolutely. And I think that you have to be very intentional on the front end. There's a little bit that more that's going to go into it to create those, we'll call them matchmaker moments, um, the one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, but there's stuff that you can do on the front end to encourage uh, that and create that so that people get to have it. Walk us through from a leadership perspective, because I think the hardest thing, and you mentioned this, is we're hopeful that there will be a normalcy that will come in. I'm really more like you, though, where I think it's going to be 2021 before there's any sort of normalcy. So how, for you in the event world, how are you viewing this in terms of still keeping the doors open and, and managing through it at the same time, working with your clients to make sure that you still are providing value. And like you said, it's a little different now, but there's still a huge need for someone to step in and be a consultant, to be a, a, a someone that holds hands and, and make sure that the event experience online is robust and that the client gets what they need. So while things are different, there is a huge need for help. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. And, um, I think that there is, I mean, you just said it, there's a huge need. I think meeting planners, I think CEOs, I think anybody that is responsible for a group of people meeting that they did it face to face before, now they have to deliver it in a different way, right? You know, even though 80% of what you do in those meetings is translatable, that other 20% is a different medium in how you're delivering it. Um, but everybody needs help right now. Every industry, every business, they still need to meet. And they don't, uh, it's, there's so much information out there. There's so much noise out there. There's so much stuff that just makes you, you know, it's, it's helpful to find somebody that you trust and say, okay, here's my goals and objectives. This is what I need to do. Help me do it. Um, because you can, you can easily veer off track. And I see it all the time because I see so many poorly done um, um, the webinars that, that you think, oh, that's an hour of my life that I'm not going to get back or virtual meetings where you go, that was four hours of my life. I'm not going to get back. Um, and, 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 and everything is just bad. So I think understanding who to align with, because we all have the same goal, which is to create, uh, um, these meaningful connections and do business together and promote your products. And we want to try to do it the best way possible. So look and see who's doing it good and partner with them. Align with them. That's what I would say. But I mean, there's a huge need right now because everybody needs to, um, to move what they used to do face to face to, to the digital realm. Sure. Because you mentioned, obviously, that normally in a perfect world, you're doing a lot of the in-person events and they're the, the physical touch points. Now you're working on, on the virtual events, but walk us through kind of what your day-to-day -day looks like in terms of working with businesses, individuals. So walk us through kind of where you are in this moment with your business. That's a really great question. And I almost need to give you some context to, to answer that question. So our business changed drastically, right? I had four months ago, we had 28 employees. So this has been by far the transition of everything, the hardest thing I've ever experienced in my entire career. I, I recognize that I'm not alone um, by any stretch of the imagination. We are all just trying to navigate through, you know, uncharted wa waters and unprecedented times and all those buzzwords that you hear over and over again that you wish you didn't have to hear anymore. So in the last four months, everything has changed. So now we have a, you know, a much smaller team um, and we are focusing, like, almost immediately we pivoted because I knew that there was gonna be a need. And I also knew that meeting planners and people that planned live events would 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 never allow the scenario that actually happened to, to us all again. And there would always be a hybrid component. So even when live events do come back, hybrid will be a huge, huge part of that. In fact, you may have a bigger, a, a, a bigger group that's attending digitally than you do in your live event. That's probably very real. Um, I just knew that that wasn't going to go away and then that was going to be a part of it. So I wanted to be on the front end of trying to figure out how to be leading 
um, be a leader in this space as opposed to um, sitting back and, and waiting to see what would happen. So that's just been my thought process. That's, and that's how I've uh, guided um, the teams. That's how I've guided clients. So, you know, you pick up your phone, you call your clients, listen, they're in the same boat that you are. They now have a, they, they have a, they need something solved. You know, you figure out what it is that, that, that is their issue and you figure out how to solve it. And you're, you're always going to, that's just the best way to be. And so there was an issue we needed to solve it and we're solving it every day. And we're learning every time we do it, every virtual meeting, every client that we're working with, we're learning something new and we're taking the best of it and moving it forward. And we're taking, and we're creating best practices every day. Uh, not only for our clients, but for our team, because the, in a lot of ways, this is just uncharted territory, yeah. but we're figuring it out. We're making it work. We're, we're, and we're adding value. We really are. We're, there's the, we've done some really great things. It's been exciting. The opportunities have been exciting. It's scary and hard, but it's been exciting too. I don't know. You know, such a dichotomy in how you feel. And one day you wake up and go, oh my, what just happened? And then other times you're like, oh, I've got some exciting things happening today. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree 100% and I can agree or and, and relate 100%. Um, carrying that idea forward, what's something, and I think the hybrid, like you mentioned, is definitely something that's going to be a trend moving forward and something that's a lesson learned for sure for all of us. What's, so, what's something that you've learned through this process that you think this is going to make me stronger coming out? So in other words, what's something going through this that you've learned as a lesson that you feel is going to better position you coming out of this? Wow, I've learned so much. I've learned terminology. I never thought that I would know. I mean, I think you've learned, I think we all learn, have learned as business owners um, that you can you, your businesses could be leaner. I mean, I, I, do, I do think that, that, that being a business owner and, and, and doing business that way, has, that's been transformational, um, that we'll all be, you know, we're just going to be better business owners moving forward with how we, we you know, we, we spend and what we do. I think I've learned that, um, that life is ever changing, um, that adaptability is always going to be key. Um, and and looking for looking for for the things to solve is where the opportunities lie yeah that's i i would say yeah looking for the pain points and wanting to make make them better is a good place to be in well go ahead and wrap up and talk about website and information for everyone to reach out and say hey we need some help how do they reach out and get your help Absolutely. Okay. So our website is mapleridgeevents.com. We are on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on um, YouTube. So any, all, all of the socials, you, uh, mapleridgeevents.com. Um, our, I will just say that's the best way to do it because you can go right there. That has everybody's email. That has meet the team. It has all of our services. Um, and we do everything from live to virtual, to hybrid, anything that has anything to do with meetings and making them memorable um, is what we do. Well, Robin, greatly appreciate all of your insight. Appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jeremy. This was wonderful. Call us. <laughs>